Undoubtedly, Python is one of the more popular programming languages around the world. Simple syntax, immense pool of libraries, easy to use tools, and remarkable ease of learning makes Python a preferred language in many areas of development. Primarily, Python was used for a tool in software development, but it only recently has Python been stepped into the world of web applications. And up until now, it has done a remarkable job thanks to Python web frameworks. With these frameworks, it's now incredibly easy for Python developers to create and deploy Python applications on the web. So what are the best web frameworks for Python? In this video, I'll talk about the top Python web frameworks that you should use in 2022 and beyond. But before that, let's talk about web frameworks and how Python web frameworks are useful for modern day developers. First, what are Python frameworks? Python web frameworks provide with a collection of packages and modules that help make your web development job much easier. When you're writing a web application using Python, these frameworks help you develop Python apps rapidly without worrying about low-level code like thread management, socket, or multiple protocols. With a Python web framework, you can abstract away basic operations, letting developers focus more on website instead of just the general processes. Simply put, Python web frameworks make it easier for web developers, administrators, designers, and operators to develop web structure for default app models. More importantly, these frameworks make it incredibly easy and quick while making sure that the apps are maintainable. When you have good Python web frameworks, it will reduce your coding time thanks to simultaneous command line processing. They also help with abstraction, metaprogramming, and developing large and more complex code through libraries. When you're developing Python web apps, a typical Python web framework will perform these basic operations. Validate import forms, manage output formats with template engines, route URL and manage data driver manipulation, configure database connections, maintain data security, retrieve and store sessions. But wait a second, aren't these features available in most web frameworks, right? This brings us to our next question. Why are Python frameworks useful? As a Python developer, you can't write the whole application code in an editor. A Python web framework lets you build applications and websites with better code organization. So you can become more productive as a developer because processes are remarkably simplified. The reason why Python web frameworks are so useful is that they provide open source solutions, they're easy to implement, they have proper documentation, they let you reuse code, and they have high operation efficiency, they ensure security, and they're easy to integrate. Next, the top web development frameworks are Python. I think we know enough about web frameworks now. So let's discuss the best web frameworks for Python applications. First, we have Django. Django is arguably the most popular web framework to develop Python apps. It's an open source framework, ideal for dynamic apps, web apps, and websites. Django is a framework behind popular apps like Spotify, Instagram, Pinterest, and Reddit. Django works on object-oriented programming, and it eases data storage and security. Building high-end standalone apps with Django is incredibly easy because of its large collection of libraries and modules. With comprehensive documentation and cache support, Django helps optimize data and create stunning apps in Python. Next, we have Flask. Flask is a micro framework and one of the best in its category. It comes with a BSD license and features design elements from Sinatra Ruby framework. Flask works with WSGI toolkit and uses Jinja 2 template. Therefore, it's a great choice for Dash developers as well. Flask offers high functionality and can dispatch restful requests, handle requests, and is incredibly lightweight. Its modular design helps developers build applications of any size and nature. Compared to Django, Flask has more adaptable design. Flask offers ORMs that allow data abstraction and transcription of data to perform read and create and delete operations on the databases. With Flask, you can build genuine web application foundations, integrate with any other type of extension. One major benefit of Flask is compatibility with Google App Engine. Moreover, it's features like templating, routing, blueprint support, static file uploading, unit testing support, and many others make it a comprehensive solution for a Python web framework. Next up is Bottle. Bottle is another micro framework which is very popular in the Python developer community. Bottle doesn't have dependencies, so it's pretty much a standalone framework. It's generally used as a distributed module for source files. Bottle contains standard Python code library, but there is an inbuilt template engine, functions, and objects. So you don't need to write import statements to add new functions and modules. It's a hardware-oriented framework, so it helps developers develop basic functionalities and build simple web applications quicker. Generally, it's best worked with HTTP or WSGI servers. Because of its lightweight design, Bottle web apps are remarkably small with no dependencies. So those looking to make small business apps can use clean and simple design framework like Bottle to create their application in no time. It supports dynamic URL generation, file uploading, plugins for different databases, 
and most importantly, there are no external dependencies. Next we have AIO HTTP. AIO HTTP is an asynchronous framework that works with Python 3.5 or later. It uses Python's asyncreo library that asynchronously works with servers. The good thing about AIO HTTP is that you can use it as a client framework too. There are request objects and routers that allow you to redirect queries for more efficient handling. AIO HTTP has a variety of tools and features like middleware support, signals, pluggable routing, and allows you to build more views effectively. Moreover, AIO HTTP follows multi-support for web sockets and clients and servers without depending on callbacks. Next, we have Web2Py. Web2Py framework allows developers to create, modify, and debug web apps through a browser. So it's easier to build and deploy high-end cross-platform Python applications that run on Windows, Unix, Linux, or Google App Engine. Web2Py is an open source platform and it's suitable for data-driven application. It can manage HTTPS, requests, cookies, and sessions. It works seamlessly with NoSQL databases. More importantly, Web2Py doesn't depend on external services and tools. Because it's web-based, you don't need an installation or configuration either. Please consider liking this video and subscribing if you found this content useful.